tonight. My one on one interview with the one and only Boone Pickens. Well, you know, a lot of people were worried about him after he wasn't showing up to the OSU game. Sure, but I spent several hours with him. He was feeling pretty good. We went to his expansive ranch in Texas, the Panhandle, as the 90 year old recovers, reflects and cracks a few jokes. You look up and you see Boone Pickens Stadium, your name. It's a big deal. Well, when you look, see your name on, on the stadium and you know that you have built some big things and I'm proud of that. The house that Boone built, a coliseum in the heart of cowboy country. Boone has given $500 million to OSU. It's obvious that I have a deep feeling for the school. And the fans have a deep appreciation for him. People, they consider me being one of them. But what about the house that built Boone? I grew up in Holdenville. The Holdenville house, a stark contrast from Boone's current Mesa Vista ranch. The 100 square mile property has four houses, a pub, lakes, a chapel, a movie theater, and a staff of 20 people. You're bringing your home, the Holdenville home, to Stillwater. Yes. Why is that important to do? My grandmother said, I don't want you to ever forget where you came from. I remember that. I haven't forgotten. His boyhood home is now being reassembled in Stillwater. Once it's finished, the Holdenville house will be on display at OSU's Karsten Creek Golf Course. Boone says he wants to be buried there. It's been a great life. Started out in Holdenville. Grandma gave Boone lots of advice, and several of his famous Booneisms came from her. What's your favorite Booneism? Higher the monkey climbs the tree, more people can see his ass. <laughs> I don't know if we can use that, but I like it. And Boone's grandma, not the only one to give him advice. Before our conversation wrapped up, Boone told me a story about his dad. T. Boone Sr. was concerned his college age son wasn't on the best path. He said, I have something serious to talk to you about. A fool with a plan can beat a genius with no plan. After that, Boone, now determined to have a plan, enrolled in the geology program at then Oklahoma A&M. That geology college now bears his name as well. Aren't you glad you took his advice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All of his advice was good. What are you most proud of? I'd have to give that some thought because I've had so many victories and enjoyed life and, and everything was good to me. Wow, yeah, there's so much to be proud of. I want to hear more of those Booneisms, the ones that you can't <laughs> use on TV. What a legacy, though, yeah. and incredible ranch. I would love oh to take gosh. a tour. You, you can't see it all in one day. Absolutely. It was really cool. The funniest thing though, I asked him, I said, is it tough to give that much money? $500 million. And he said, yes, <laughs> but he's glad to do but it. But he's doing it anyway. It's a little tough to do, but he's glad. He, thank you to Boone, by the way, and all of his folks for, for helping make that happen.